shows more men than You know, it's still the numbers in general in museums are still like, you know, less than 20% women and often 10 or 8%. You know, it's, it's still pretty low. Sadly, you know, not all women are feminists. <laughs> but what did, what did Madeline Albright say? There's a special place in hell for women who don't help other women. <laughs> but you know, it does take someone stepping up against the system. Which, and we've met some curators who really do that. But a lot of other ones, by the time you get in a huge position of power in the museum, you've drunk the Kool-Aid. And they all start thinking, you know, whoever the hot, new, fashionable artists are, or the artists they want to film. Um, there was there's some question about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Personally, I mean, I, I love the humor that you guys put in, you know, into your ads and stuff. Um, but I want to know, like, like have other, like, feminist groups, like, have you guys like, whatever angle you can uh, or how would you feel toward that, and how do you respond to that? Yeah, yeah. They, were, they were angry because of our humor? No, yeah. they were, yeah, the yeah. Humor yeah. The old-time um, <laughs> lefties do not like humor in posters, and they do not like this. But I don't think it's a women thing, it's a political thing. You know, a lot of people believe there's no place for humor in political. We also use the word girl. You know, we didn't claim the word girl, which um, we did quite consciously because we wanted to upset people, we wanted to shake, we wanted people to take notice of what we were doing. Um, and, and we also wanted to reclaim that word, because for so long it was a word that was used to belittle women and to infantilize them. Um, and we decided that if we used it, we called ourselves girls, and you know, we, we had made powerful statements under the, the word gorilla girls, um, maybe that word would lose some of its nasty power. But you have to say that at that time, it was politically incorrect for a woman to use the word girl. OK, we have two more. You, and then you. All right, maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in high school, many years ago, a fellow student asked why there were so many naked women in the museum. And my teacher said it was because women were more aesthetically pleasing. How would you explain that? How would you explain to a young budding artists the same Well, question? that was the perfect example of the male gaze. He really thought that what was more aesthetically pleasing to him was a universal, you know, a universal. Well, the hetero, uh, the heteronormative male yeah. gaze. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. this was a woman. Well, I, you know. Uh, the, a woman could say, a hetero woman could say exactly the same thing. I mean, not the same thing, the opposite. Well, I think, there, <laughs> I think it's so interesting. There came to be this idea that great art was naked women. And, you know, yeah, I think naked women are absolutely beautiful. But um, how exactly that came to be, and it became pervasive way beyond the few male painters who who paint those women? It's a really interesting question. Okay. I don't think any, you know, any gender has a uh, stranglehold on, you know, on, on being the most aesthetically beautiful gender of all. That really is, uh, that's actually, that's total bias <laughs> and, privilege, to, and privilege, privilege. Yeah, but go to an art school or any art class in any little town all over the U.S. and they're painting naked women. Still very pervasive. That's 